We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Jim. Jim recently got a 55 inch Samsung KS8000 4K HDR TV as edge lit with a form of local dimming. Mm -hmm. He's already turned off all of the picture enhancements, and that includes the smart LED feature. He found that he could see the backlight pumping as the scenes changed, so he turned it off. I actually looked at this manual. I think I actually actually looked at this mm -hmm. last week when we were prepping for this, and now I can't remember. And of course, <laughs> I've closed that tab a long time ago. Uh, the issue he is having is uh, that even with the local dimming feature turned off, when uh, if the scene goes entirely to a black screen, the backlight still turns off completely. This makes for a great, perfect black. But as soon as anything is on the screen, <laughs> even a tiny image or a slight line of text during the credits, the backlight comes back on and turns the whole screen to a grayish black. Jim isn't upset, isn't upset by the grayish black. He can live with that. He just hates the sudden change from super deep black to the whole screen getting lighter for one line of text. Yeah. Is there some way to deactivate the feature of backlight turning uh, completely off during a full black screen? Uh, yeah, I found. I think I did find the setting, but I don't remember really. This now. I okay. I couldn't. I I am not aware of there being any user setting for. Like well, it's says, the edge lit thing, right? Well, it, I, I mean, that is the local dimming. That is the changing dynamically as scenes change. That's the mm -hmm. smart LED setting. He already turned that off. Mm -hmm. This is a different thing. Now, counterintuitively, if you were to set the smart LED setting to on, you would get less of this effect. Because okay. if it's a single line of text, it can still close down whatever local, uh, local dimming zones that it has and try to only illuminate the part of the screen that has the text on it. But he's saying he doesn't like that sort of pumping up and down of the black level overall. He'd rather just, it's kind of a grayish black, but it just stays that way all the time. And there's Which is what most TVs do. And yeah. there's never any change. I don't know of anything that when it goes to this full black that you can prevent it from turning the backlight off. It just seems to be what it does. Now, he said in his email, you know, maybe there's something in the service menu and I can't tell you that there isn't. It's just I have no experience. I'm not a licensed calibrator. I'm not going into service menus to find that sort of thing. I would not recommend going into service menus. No, I mean, if I would, you don't know what you're doing. That would be, you know, go to uh, ISF, go to the Imaging Science Foundation website, find an ISF calibrator or a THX certified calibrator in your area and ask them. That uh, that this, is as as good advice as I can offer on that front. For there was definitely menu. a setting in the in the menus when I was looking through. I thought that he should play around with, but maybe you know I'm sure you're right that it, it wouldn't have helped. That being said, this very well, Jim, may be just the way that this TV operates. In which yeah. case, even going into the service menus, there's not going to be a setting for hey, don't do the thing that you were made to do. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it, it's not going to be like always leave the backlight on a little bit. I don't think there's going to be a setting for that in the service menu if it's not already in the main menu. Yeah. So about the only other thing I can su suggest is going over to CNET, uh, going to the uh, KS8000 review, and in there, David Katzmeyer has listed his picture settings. He does talk about the local dimming feature, and in his opinion, setting that smart LED setting to low to its lowest setting. Uh, which is counter to what a, lo a lot of other websites say, where they're saying, put it on high, get the max effect. He's like, he didn't like the pumping either. He found that putting it on low gave him sort of the best compromise of you don't see the light changing a lot, but you don't yeah. get this effect of it's either all or nothing. You do get some dimming. So uh, like I say, I'm usually in agreement with David Katzenmeyer. So that's about, and, and using some of those other settings, I don't know what picture settings you've used. It's possible yeah. that adjusting the backlight setting, like just the overall luminance setting, adjusting your black level and white level uh, to be as accurate as possible. It might help. Uh, but this particular effect you're talking about, I, I know what he means. And I don't, I don't know any way of getting around it. I'm sorry. Okay. That wasn't very helpful. I know. Well, sometimes there is. I mean, sometimes there is. The answer is that, get a different TV. Do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, know, dude. You got an OLED. This won't happen. So yeah. yeah. But don't ask the Best Buy guys. Cause <laughs> yeah. OLED sucks to them.
Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. Now go out and listen to something.